Did you know that nearly 60% of people live paycheck to paycheck? That means almost two-thirds of us constantly worry about making ends meet, covering bills, and hoping nothing unexpected comes up. It's exhausting. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be this way. You can break free from the paycheck to paycheck cycle and build a more secure future. Welcome to Wealth Dose. On this channel, we're all about giving you practical tips and strategies to improve your financial life. Today, we're diving deep into the money habits that keep so many people stuck in a cycle of financial struggle. And let me tell you, it's not always about not making enough. It's often about the small, usually unconscious decisions we make with our money every single day. Before we start though, I want you to know that changing your financial life requires three things. First, an open mind. You might have to unlearn some old beliefs about money. Second, a willingness to put in the work. Breaking bad habits is tough, but the only way to grow. Lastly, you need a basic understanding of personal finance. We're talking about budgeting, saving, managing debt, the essentials. Don't worry, we'll explain everything in a way that's easy to understand and more importantly, put into action. Chapter one, spending money feels good, but overspending is like a slow leak in your financial tire. It can leave you stranded with a flat wallet and regret. Awareness is key. Track your expenses. Write down every dollar you spend. Identify areas to cut back. Small changes can make a huge difference. It's about progress, not perfection. Chapter two, I get it. The word budget doesn't exactly spark joy. It sounds restrictive and boring, like a diet for your money. But trust me on this one, budgeting is not about deprivation, but empowerment. Think of a budget as a financial roadmap. It helps you track where your money is going, make conscious spending choices, and reach your financial goals faster. Without a budget, you're driving blindfolded, hoping for the best, but not in control of where you end up. Creating a budget is simpler than you might think. Start by listing all your sources of income, your salary, side hustles, and any other income you have. Then, list all your expenses, rent or mortgage, utilities, groceries, transportation, entertainment, etc. Once you have a clear picture of your income and expenses, you can start allocating your money in a way that aligns with your priorities. You might allocate more money towards debt payments if you're trying to pay off debt. If you're saving for a down payment on a house, you might prioritize saving over entertainment. The 50-30-20 budget is a great place to start. This method suggests allocating 50% of your after-tax income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. Needs are your essential expenses, like housing, food, and transportation. Wants are things you enjoy but don't necessarily need, like dining out, travel, and entertainment. Remember, your budget is a living document. Adjusting it as your income, expenses, and goals change is okay. Having a plan and sticking to it as much as possible. Chapter 3. The Emergency Fund. Your Financial Safety Net. Life is unpredictable. You never know when you might experience a sudden job loss, a medical emergency, or an unexpected car repair. These events are stressful enough without the added burden of financial worry. That's where an emergency fund comes in. An emergency fund is a stash of cash specifically set aside for unexpected expenses. It acts as a financial safety net, giving you peace of mind, knowing that you can handle whatever life throws your way. How much should you have in your emergency fund? A good rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up. This may seem like a lot, but it's better to be overprepared than underprepared. Start by setting a realistic savings goal. Every little bit counts, even if it's just $50 or $100 monthly. You can gradually increase your savings rate as your income grows. To make saving easier, automate it. Set up a recurring monthly transfer from your checking account to your savings account. You can also use a budgeting app that rounds up your purchases to the nearest dollar and transfers the difference to your savings account. Remember, your emergency fund is not for impulse purchases or vacations. It's for genuine emergencies only. Resist the temptation to dip into it for non-essential expenses. Chapter 4. Credit Cards, Friend or Foe Credit cards can be a valuable financial tool when used responsibly. They can help you build credit, earn rewards, and provide a convenient way to pay for things. However, they can also be a slippery slope to debt if you're not careful. The problem is that credit cards make spending money you don't have too easy. When you swipe a card, you don't feel the pain of parting with your hard-earned cash like when you use physical money. If you're carrying credit card debt, paying it off should be your top financial priority. Credit card interest rates are notoriously high and can quickly eat away at your income. Create a debt repayment plan and stick to it. One effective strategy is the debt snowball method. 
List all your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rate. Then focus on paying off the smallest debt first while making minimum payments on your other debts. Once the smallest debt is paid off, roll that payment amount over to the next smallest debt and so on. Another option is the debt avalanche method, where you first prioritize paying off your debts with the highest interest rates. This method can save you money on interest over the long run. Use credit cards strategically once you've paid off your credit card debt. Only charge what you can afford to pay off in full each month. This way, you'll avoid paying interest and racking up more debt. Take control of your financial future. Congratulations! You've made it to the end of this video, which means you're one step closer to taking control of your finances and building a brighter future. We've covered some of the most common money habits that hold people back, but more importantly, we've given you actionable strategies to overcome them. Remember, breaking free from these habits isn't easy, but possible. It takes time, effort, and consistency. But I do not doubt that you can do it. Start by choosing one or two of the strategies we discussed today and committing to implementing them in your life. Let me know in the comments which habit you will tackle first. Remember to subscribe to Wealth Dose for more tips and inspiration on your journey to financial freedom. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload.